Hello, Course Wizards, and welcome to the Course Wizards podcast. I'm Christopher Maselli, your host, and normally I'm here with my buddy Amit, but Amit and I have been tag teaming the last few because this has become a very busy, busy time of year for us, as I'm sure it has for many of you. There's something about the November and December holidays that, boy, just really makes it difficult to get everything done in our jobs and our course creation and our, our extra online businesses, our side hustles families, all these things together. It's hard to get them all done. So Amit and I are just doing a little tag teaming. And so shout out to Amit. And I hope he's doing well there in Dallas. It's gotten about as cold up here in Arizona as it is there, I think, right now. This week, I just thought I wanted to jump on and just talk about something that's been on my mind a little bit lately. And I'm sure it's something that you've heard before. But stick with me because this is something that I need to hear on a regular basis. I'm preaching to the choir a little bit today because what I want to talk about is how perfectionism is the enemy of progress. Perfectionism is the enemy of progress. What does that mean? It means that sometimes we strive so hard to make everything work exactly the way we want it to make those online training videos exactly the way that we picture them in our mind, to make a flawless presentation that we never actually progress and get the thing done. Y'all know that I'm a writer by trade, and often when I'm talking to writers, I tell them that if they have written a book and finished it, they've done something that 90% of writers never actually do. Finish the project. And it's really the same with online training. So many of us have these great ideas of courses that people will need and that will make us those extra bucks. And they're up here in our head. Maybe we've even written down an outline. But getting that thing done, actually sitting down and Recording every session is so difficult. And there are times that we may have even gotten to that step. We recorded them, but then we know we've got to edit them. And we want them to be edited perfectly. And we want to have the website that we put them on look perfect. And so time passes. And we never quite get it done. I know so many people with online courses that want to have the perfect lead magnet on their website. And it's all up here in their head. But they can't actually get it done because it's just they can't deliver that perfect item they want to do. I see this with writers all the time who want to write that great American novel. And so they never quite finish it. They can't get past the editing stage. I know other authors who've written three or four books and finished them and gotten them out there. And they're not perfect, but they're done. I was working with a salesman a few years ago who was very articulate, a very good salesman. And he'd come up with this idea. It was his, the way he does sales, right? This is going to be a book about the way he does sales, the steps he walks through. He had a perfect allegory set up for it that was the opening chapter and then used the rest of the book to explain how his system worked. And we worked together on this book for several months. It was not hardly written down when he started. And we got the whole thing written down. And he read it and he said, yeah, this is cool, but just not quite there yet. And we talked about it a lot. And I reread it again. And I said, this is actually quite good. I think you can, I think you can publish this. And he said, I think, I think I want to sit on this for a month or so and just see if I can figure out what's not working for me. And I knew right then this book will never get published. And as far as I know, to this day, it has never gotten published because he never came back to it, because it never achieved that perfection that he was looking for. And I can't help but think how much lost opportunity is there. I mean, he was speaking at places, at least on a monthly basis. He had so much influence People he would tell about his, the same thing that's in this book, that he now had nothing to give them because he wouldn't just say, I'm going to put my stamp of approval on this and send it out, at least for now. 
Because really, even if it wasn't written exactly the way he wanted it, at least he would have delivered on what he'd promised. You want to know my sales formula? Here it is in this book. He could have delivered on that promise. But he lost out on doing it because of perfectionism. When it comes to the online course space, I think of Evelyn Weiss. If you know the online course space, you've probably heard of Evelyn Weiss. Amit and I have talked about Evelyn Weiss many times. Because she's someone who has a great sales funnel. She says, I think it's for $7 a month, you can get into her monthly online training. And it is packed with so much info. And she makes all these promises. And you know what? She delivers on all of them. But what's funny about Evelyn Weiss is that up until, I don't know, maybe six months ago, she was making her millions, literally millions. And when you went and gave her your $7 and went to get the product, it was in a spreadsheet. Every step of what she offered was in a spreadsheet with videos on YouTube. She basically spent no money on the delivery experience, right? It was all in the funnel. But when you got in there, you're free. the first thought you have is, oh my, this doesn't look good at all. But then you get in there and you realize how much material she has. And you realize she delivered on the promise. And you know what? You were fine with that. It was $7 a month. And it was okay because she delivered on the promise. Since then, she's upgraded her system, made it look a little bit better behind the paywall. But it's still not perfect. But it delivers. You know, my friend Liz Wilcox, who we've talked about on this show, she has an email template system that I absolutely love. Go grab it at writing.fyi slash Liz. She had the same thing when she started out. Before she made her first hundreds of thousands, I think she might be to a million now, I'm not sure, at least over the lifetime of it, I'm sure she is. She would sell her template system, and when you logged in to get it, it was in a Google spreadsheet. It wasn't even password protected, y'all. Wasn't even password protected. You'd log in, you'd get this and think, why can't I just share this with everybody? Of course you wouldn't. But it was only $9 a month. And you know what? She delivered on the promise. And I couldn't help but think when I first went in there, I thought, how many people would just not offer this yet? They would think, no, this isn't in my fancy system. I don't have this in Teachable yet, or New Zendler, or Searchy. Or I don't have a really fancy experience once you get inside. I don't have the kind of online training I want, right? Both Evelyn Weiss and Liz Wilcox, when you get in there, it's them sitting in front of a camera in their living room, right? Or their office, just talking with a screen share, maybe. That's clunky sometimes. And they won't even edit. They won't edit it. It's not like it was set off to an editor. They just recorded it, chopped off the beginning and end, uploaded it. Liz Wilcox, by the way, since then has gone on and put hers into WordPress, made it a little more password protected and safe. But it's still, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because it delivers. And here's the thing about this. We can't forget. Today's projects are always fluid. We put these things out on the internet or as ebooks, as digital books. I tell authors all the time, if you want to produce a book, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you discover there's a misspelling on a page or a sentence that doesn't make sense or some statistic you have incorrect, guess what? You change it, re-upload the file. Everyone from that point forward will see the that much better manuscript. Now, I'm not suggesting that you put out a book that's not been edited any more than I'd say you put out a teaching that's inaccurate. You want to be as accurate as you can. You want to do your best, but it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the key. Don't make it be perfect. Just put it out there. I have a system called Children's Writing Super System. It's a training I recorded first time, I want to say back in 2013, 2014, back when all this stuff was just new and getting started. And boy, it was a bad recording. Back then I thought it was okay. But it was bad. But you know what? A couple of years later, once technology caught up with the vision I had, right? I got a better camera, got a better microphone, and I 
would take a sec section at a time and just re-record it. They were only five minutes a piece. I mean, I had 50 of them, but they were five minutes a piece. So one at a time, I'd sit down and go, okay, today I'm going to talk about this. And I'd record that section again. I'd update the slides that went with it. A few years later, I looked at it again and thought, ah, oh, boy, technology again has improved. Now I can put my face down in the corner, right? And I can, I've got better software. I've got Ecamm now. So I'd re-record it once more. Upload it again. The people who'd already paid for it, they just get the updated version. That's what I like to do that because they stuck with me. But the people who were new, they, they just see the new, the new version. They'd never see those old ones. I'm about ready to re-record that one again. And I think that's cool. It's regularly re-recorded. I might add some new info. <laughs> At one point, I had the whole children's writing super system and never even mentioned ebooks because that wasn't a thing, right? Now it's a big thing. Self-publishing, big thing. You've got to talk about those things now. So I update the course. And that's the great thing. You don't have to make it perfect. What you have to do is make it done. Make it done. So I want to ask you, here's my challenge to you this week. What's your goal right now? I want you to set a time frame for that. Put it on your calendar. And this time frame is not for getting it perfect. This time frame is for getting it done. What is it you want to do? Do you have a lead magnet you want to write? Do you have a sales page you need to write? Do you have a product, a course that you need to create? A book you want to write? Get it done. Go through the usual, having someone edit it, have someone look over your shoulder, do the basic edits. And then once you finish it and put it out there, if you want to update it, make it even better, go ahead. But get it out there, get it done. Because then you got something for the world to see. Hey, I hope you're having a good holiday season. You know someone who you also know needs to get it done. You say, hey, this episode really spoke to me, go ahead and share this Course Wizards episode with them. I hope you will. Because when you rate, review, subscribe, and share, man, that helps other people find Course Wizards. We hope you've enjoyed the Course Wizards. We've got many, many more episodes to come. Until next time, this is Chris and Amit in Texas saying, keep creating. Bye-bye.